Well, it's 2016, August 2016, summer day in LA. We, I don't know why I felt the need to say that, <laughs> but we were, we met with you the first time in 2012. Right. And uh, that was about four years ago. So since that time, a lot has happened in your life. You've, you've been a part of projects, uh, different things. Have you become more idealistic about filmmaking? Less so, more realistic? about what is needed to work in Hollywood? Have oh, you had any kind a of... Great question. Have you talked to people that get more idealistic as their career <laughs> goes on? That, I, I want to talk to those people. Um, I've become, it's, it's an interesting question because after we last met, I think I was just in preparation for a movie. I think I was just about to shoot 13 Sins, which was my last feature film. I haven't made a feature film since then. And it's interesting you're asking whether I got more idealistic or, or less. I think it's a mixture of both because I'm very proud of 13 Sins, um, but it never went anywhere. It made $9,000 at the box office. And it came after Last Exorcism, which was this, you can discuss whether that's a better film or a worse film or whatever, but box office wise, it was a $70 million success going to a $9,000 complete failure at the box office, right? Which I would claim I have nothing to do with either, not with that success and not with that failure because it's marketing and how much money is being pumped into stuff. Last Exorcism had a marketing budget of $24 million, so it's easier, to, of, of course, to get people to see it and to make that kind of money. 13 Sins didn't have a single dollar of marketing budget. And that depended on, without pointing fingers, but it depends on who buys your movie, of course. And in that, in that case, the company that bought the movie just before 13 Sins was going to be released had a huge flop with a movie that they had big hopes for and had done a big marketing campaign for and they were just out of money. They did not have the capacity of getting 13 Sins released theatrically. You know, So suddenly you are a VOD movie, which is not a problem, but it is a difference, of course, in if you see the chart of your career, the way it's perceived, you're, you're going from you know the worldwide theatrical movie to the VOD movie in America, which means that nowhere else in the world it's going to go theatrical. So suddenly you have a movie that is you know, basically disappearing, which has nothing to do with its quality, just as this success didn't necessarily have anything to do with its quality. You know, but of course you are being held accountable. So I then kind of had to see where to get my next paycheck from because suddenly I am not this filmmaker anymore because Hollywood is always you are worth as much as your last project made at the box office basically. So I was worth this much after Last Exorcism and I was worth this much after 13 Sins which is a real problem to get yourself out of. So the answer is TV. You know and I was always like I don't want to do TV, I don't want to do TV but A I had to get my rent check from somewhere and B I think the landscape really changed. Maybe I'm just telling myself that because now I'm doing TV, but I think a lot has happened since we last spoke in terms of TV with True Detective, with Game of Thrones, with, that some of the best storytelling to today is being done in TV. So right. it's not actually as bleak a world as I would have thought back then that TV is.